my God. I got the most awesome lawnmower in the history of lawnmowers, I think. Uh, what is it then, a John Deere RX-7? Or is there supposed to be another number after that? I'll check the other side. RX-75, I think it means it's a 75 horsepower <laughs> tractor. Oh, that's gonna be awesome around here. I got rid of all my big lawn tractors because my yard's really not that big, but this will be just perfect size for it. All right, let's get this thing off of this trailer. Luckily, the trailer was just barely big enough. I mean, I should have really got a bigger trailer for this super awesome lawn tractor. I don't know, when, when does a thing become a lawnmower and not a tractor? I don't know. I'm still gonna call it a tractor. So it's really jerky, <laughs> it's going to take a little practice to get smooth, but uh, we have a clutch, we have a brake, we have a steering wheel, and we have seven gears for some reason, because seven is how many this needs, not two or maybe three, but seven. All right, um, deck is, wait a minute, oh that's, that's the blade and gauge. And that's the deck up or down, right. Throttle, gas tank. Nice new seat, which he was sure to tell me cost $300. <laughs> and we got a nine horse, I suspect Briggs in here. Nine horse balanced, wow. It's way better than the not balanced ones. Um, is it a Briggs? I don't know. There's a B though. I want the B gone. Beat it. Ah, I can't quite see down in there. It even says what that is. Before starting, I probably should have read that. Oh, we checked the oil when we were over there. She's clean. We got oil drain there. Nice and easy. I think I need air in these tires. Oops, we got some electrical hanging on the tire. So we'll just stick that in that hole there and that'll hold it for a minute um, we've got a trailer hitch for towing massive loads you know if the big tractor over there can't handle it I'll just tow it with this all right let's just uh, let's just do a couple of circles over here and see how it cuts
uh, it might be cutting a little low. Um, it's really cutting a lot of grass here, throwing it all over the place. My other mower is a mulcher, so I forgot. I forgot I got to be uh, cutting more often so that I'm not making a wheat field every single time. But uh, yeah, uh, no issues. All right, I know this looks intimidating, but don't be scared. We can do this. First thing we wanna do is check the oil. I don't know how much gas is in it. There's no level that I can see. Let's just pull the cap. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think, I think Buddy was bionic possibly. Uh. I see a little movement down in there, so we'll just go ahead and say, yeah, there's gas in there. And oil. It's crystal clear, it's so clean, and it's right on the full mark. I don't know if you can see that, but I can, and that's what matters. All right, so the gas line is not touching that tire, but I do want to tie that up. And that electrical plug, the safety switch has been bypassed uh, temporarily. I'm sure I'll hook that back up. All right, so what do we got? We got a big old comfy seat. We got a clutch and a brake. We've got a throttle. We'll put it on rabbit or choke to start it. Uh, deck is as high as it goes. We'll just leave it there. Oh, I found a new lever that I've never seen before. What do you think that is? Well, I'll post it up here or there or there or there and, uh, and then we'll both know. I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, your gear is forward and one reverse. The reverse gear is spring loaded so you have to hold it there to be in reverse. And then when you let go it just pops forward into like neutral. And the deck engage. <laughs> off. And your key start, you know, right up against that lever. Oh. You didn't need to listen to me. Here's everything right here. Oh, that's a parking brake. Okay, hopefully that's not on. So depress pedals, move lever. Move it where? <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it's hooked up to anything because it's just flopping around in there like a flounder. Okay, so when it's down like that, it's supposed to be in, uh, oh yeah, the parking gauge, parking brake is engaged down there. So we'll throw that up into the neutral position. Uh, we got us a good old piece of wood in there. That's what's causing all that squeaking, I believe. I'll have to get this all blown out. That's just a mess. The machine is so clean and tidy, except under there. It's all just a mess. Oh, there's a fuse there. I'll remember that in case something's not working. I'll check the fuse. All right, let's go. So, I got my safety flip-flops on. Got to be safety conscious. All right, we're on this big nasty machine. We're all comfortable. Check the safety tag down there. Don't run over a small child. <laughs> okay, good thing they have a label for that because otherwise you just, you, you might do that. Anyways, let's roll. So we're in neutral, okay, neutral. And we got our foot on the clutch. It's pretty stiff clutch, so we push it all the way down. It's, it's almost like an on off switch down there, but it's so hard to operate smoothly, but it can be done. So let's push it down throw this into choke mode turn the key wind down the throttle let the choke out listen for any noises rattles a little bit let's give it a little more now the deck height 
is here. So if I slide this handle down, you'll see a number pop up. It's got to go in and then down. And down. And you'll see a three. That's three inch cut. Go down further, it's two inch cut. So let's go up to three. I think you can do three and a half. No, you can't. Oh, I'm looking at the slots down in there. And you're either at, well there, that's two and a half, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it all the way up. So let's drive. Let's put the clutch in all the way. Throw it in, say, third. I think you line this up. No, you don't. You line up this. So there's third. And then let's try popping this clutch out nice and slow. <laughs> you can't do it, it just pops. Clutch back in. Try it slow again. No, it's impossible. All right, let's try seventh gear. Because, you know, we got to go right for a speed record here. Now I want to go slow on this. Whoa! Whoa! All right, that's going to town mode. And we have a brake over here. It's really only necessary for like on a hill or something. Let's try let's try it on a hill, but let's go into first gear. <laughs> and gently, gently, apparently I'm in neutral. Nope, I'm not. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can tell here, but I'm going down a pretty steep hill. So I'm gonna have to use the brakes. on and uh, <laughs> I didn't realize you can't see because it leaves but now down here I put it in reverse and hold it hold it back and then I can let the clutch out and back we go let go of the handle it goes back to neutral and it's hit third whoa that is jerky and this is the scene you get driving along on a John Deere RX-75. All right. Now, let's say you want to cut some grass. Let's stop here for a minute. Let's put the deck down to three. Three inch grass cut. Let's engage the mower. Clutch out. Why is it moving? I don't know. Oh, I'm in first. Hey, it's easy. It's easy to work the clutch that way. Okay, let's back up a bit. Okay, neutral is right there, and shut her down. There. See? That was easy. What else do you need to know? Anything? Does it look like the deck rides a little lower in the front? I saw online a deck that had wheels on the front, but this one doesn't. Can probably adjust this so it's level. What happens when I drop it um, here? Oh. So 
it seems a lot higher on the back than on the front I'm wondering I'm wondering things Yeah, this is a mess. It's got it's all full of grass, so. Oh. It's not supposed to put your boot under the running mower deck or your fingers for some reason. Well, I don't see an adjustment for the height other than adjusting the wheels, but um I don't think that's going to do anything for the level of it. So, let's pop it back up. All right. We got us a deer whistle on there, you know, to clear the path of deer. Uh, another safety thing, you know, you don't want to be mowing deer. Makes a heck of a mess. Don't ask me how I know. And uh, you got your beverage holder here, you know, just swinging in the breeze for that, you know, six minutes worth of grass cutting you're doing. Um, I think that's it for accessories. Not much else to know here. Other than that, this thing has been rebuilt top to bottom. The transmission's been done, all the belts have been done. He's even put new brake pads on. Like, how do you wear the brake pads off on a lawn tractor? I'll probably go ahead and get some John Deere green paint and uh, clean up the foot trays there, and then it's really gonna look like. I'll get some yellow too and touch up the deck. I saw another deck for sale on Marketplace for a hundred bucks, but uh, it's like over an hour away and there's nothing wrong with this deck. Came with a spare blade. Came with the manual. Looks like um, he's had a couple accidents here. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be curved in like that. Kind of, kind of doubt it. <laughs> it looks like it's taken, uh, taken a shot, a time or two. I see some uh, grease nipples on the steering. I'll get that taken care of. I'm not sure why there's a hole here. It looks like there used to be a dial of some sort on there, but I won't worry too much about that. Oh, I should maybe read the caution. Read operator's manual. Yeah, I'll get to that. Um, controls, safety, blah, blah, blah. Never this and that. Holy. Stop engine before, oh, do not drive. What are you, a cop? Holy, this thing. All right, I think I did everything right. So um, I looked it up, this is a Kawasaki 9 horse. I don't know why they don't say Kawasaki on it, like right there, but uh, yeah, no, they just, I don't know. They just decide to not to. Oh, I would love to have a bagger on this. This, this thing shoots grass out like a threshing machine. I'd love to have a bagger on the back of this, but I'll never find one. They only made these from 1988 to 1990. Like, why, why, why bother? I think it's like one of those little engineering projects they gave the new guy. Hey, you know what? Uh, those snapper lawnmowers are getting all the business. Let's, let's try competing with snapper and build us a little 30 inch single blade, rear engine, small as can be tractor. And this is what they came up with. Apparently it didn't sell too well, or I don't know, maybe people were crashing into things a lot <laughs> but there like the newest one you're gonna get is 32 years old this is 2023 still so this one's 33 years old then no 34 years old yeah and it's looking pretty good for 34 all right Green Acres is the place to be, I've heard. Uh, sold by Green Acres. Equipment Center Limited in. Uh, can't really make that out. Something stock, probably Woodstock. I think that says Thamesford. Yeah, Thamesford, Woodstock, Thamesford. And there you go. I wonder if they're still in business. I'll go check. Like, who keeps one of these things so well maintained for 34 years? He's quite proud of this machine. He's one of those older fellas that actually maintains stuff, does regular oil changes and maintenance and 
I got all, I've got all the receipts from all the parts he's bought for this over the years. I mean, I could see it on a bigger tractor, but you would think this is like a throwaway thing, kind of, right? Somebody with no money bought a smallest tractor they can get, or, you know, a tractor that can fit through a gate or something to get into the yard. Why bother keeping all these receipts and stuff? Just drive it into the ground. But nope. Nope. Some people just are really particular about their equipment. So I'm going to try to keep that up. Every time I need to do something, I'll keep the receipt, put it in the book and I'll just be that guy. All right, that's it. Anything else, any questions? I don't know what it's rated at for towing, but um, I don't know. Do you think it'll tow that 11,000 pound toy hauler over there? Sure, maybe in a future video, I'll give it a try. All right, cheers from Ontario.